95. What is the molar solubility of BASO4 in a 0.250 molar solution of NaHSO4? And then they tell us that the Ka for HSO4 is 1.2 times 10 to the negative second. Okay. Now, in order for us to figure out this problem, we did need some additional information from the back of a textbook. They did say we wanted to find out the molar solubility of barium sulfate. So a molar solubility always comes from a KSP value. So I went in the back of the book, I found out BASO4, and I picked out the KSP. Now, since we're on the KSP, remember, KSP is nothing without a balanced equation. So let's just write one out for BASO4. So you always start with your compound, BASO4, and that's a solid, right? Because these are, you know, dissolving into its ions. The two ions is the barium and the sulfate, right? SO4 never breaks up. So it's Ba plus SO4. Now, Ba is in group two on the periodic table. So that's a plus two. Sulfate ion, always a negative two. And since they are charges, these are aqueous. And I'm just seeing, are we balanced? We sure are. So I'm just going to keep this over here. And the KSP for this one is just going to come down here. So I can erase this information. Okay. So in essence, I have to find out the, and maybe I'll just put this over here. I have to find the molar solubility of BASO4. But... We're in another solution. We're in NaHSO4. They gave me a Ka value for HSO4. So just like a KSP, Ka's are nothing without a balanced equation. They're telling me that the HSO4 is acting as the acid because it's a Ka. A stands for acid. So I'm going to start with this and dissociate it into its base and an H+. This is all kind of like last chapter when we did acids and bases. So I'm going to say, okay, we have HSO4 minus, and it's a charge, so that's aqueous. This dissolves into H and SO4. Just like we saw before, SO4 is a negative 2. The H is a plus 1, right? H is always plus 1. And charges, so that means that they're both aqueous. Okay. And now, let's write out the Ka value here. Ka is equal to 1.2 times 10 to the negative second. And maybe, if we can, we can write this out as what the Ka expression would be. Maybe we'll just get that over with, right? Because you know that that's coming. <laughs> so we'll just do it for both of them. So the Ka is products over reactants. It would be H plus times SO4 minus, SO4 two minus, divided by HSO4. Okay. Now let's do the same thing for KSP, right? What does this equal? Well, it's still products over reactants, but remember, no solids allowed. So this would just be the concentration of the two products, Ba2 plus times SO4 2 minus. Okay, cool. Now, it seems like we know more information about uh, HSO4. Now they tried to disguise this on you by saying that it's NaHSO4. But remember, anytime that you have a group one metal, this is always ionic. So this is going to break down into its two ions, Na plus and HSO4. And would you look at that? HSO4 is in one of my equations. So I don't care about the Na. What I care about is the HSO4. And if we started off with a 0 0.250 molarity of NaHO4, and for every one NaHSO4, there's only one HSO4, right? There's like no parentheses saying that there's two of them. It's the same number. So you're starting with 0 0.250 molarity of HSO4. 
And that's where we're going to be headed. We have to use the Ka expression first. So let's just pull this down a little bit for now. Actually, I kind of want to show you the work here, right? Because how are we going to connect these two equations? They have to have something in common. And if you look closely, they both have the sulfate ion, right? They both have SO4. So what's going to happen is essentially we will solve for the SO4 minus to use for this equation because it's the same value. Then we could find out that molar solubility. Okay, so let's bring this down. And now since we're starting with 0 0.250, that is a initial value, which means that I have to do an ice table. So let's just quickly do that. I'll just maybe bring this down a little bit. And we'll say I C E. Initially, we had 0 0.25, 0 of HSO4. We did not start off with any of these. So 0 and 0 can only go up from here, right? Can only go up from starting with 0. So this would be plus and plus, and this would be minus. We don't know by how much, so that's why we just label it as x. So minus x, plus x, plus x. And then the equilibrium line, just group your initials and your changes together. So for HSO4, it would be 0 0.250 minus x. 0 plus x is just x. 0 plus x is just x. And now we're going to use these pieces of information to plug in to our Ka expression. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to move this over. Beautiful. And I'm just going to bring this over here, I guess, for now. And maybe I will erase this because we know that that value is the Ka. Okay. So we had H plus as being X, SO4 two minus was X and HSO4 minus as 0 0.250 minus X. Now here's the thing guys, generally we try to assume. However, I'm already spotting that this Ka value is not even like 10 to the negative fourth and lower. It's 10 to the negative second. That's a pretty high K value. Alarms are going off in my mind saying, even if we try to assume, we're gonna have to do the quadratic. It's unfortunate, but you know, it, that's just how it is. So we have to keep this negative X value and do the math. So let's see what we get. 1.2 times 10 to the negative second times the 0 0.250 minus X, and this all equals X times X, which is X squared. Distribute. So let's see. 1.2 times 10 to the negative second times 0.25. I get 0 0.003 minus 1.2 times 10 to the negative second x equals x squared. Now remember, for solving for the quadratic, we like to shift all of our variables, variables to one side. Generally, students like to keep x squared as positive. So I'll shift these over to the other side. So if that's the case, I will add 1.2 times 10 to the negative second X on both sides. And I will subtract 0 0.003 on both sides. And when I do that, these cancel. And if I just pull this up, right, this whole side is equal to zero. So what I can do is I can just erase this. Pause if you need to write it down, but I can just erase this side and say that this is zero. And now I'm ready for the quadratic because remember, if I just make this a little bit more out there, the A value is the one in front of the X squared. The B value is the one in front of the X. 
and the C value is the one that's all alone. So the A value is one because there was one X squared. The B value, maybe I'll do that in red. The B value is 1.2 times 10 to the negative second. And the C value, watch out for those signs, it's a negative 0 0.003. Maybe I will scooch this up a little bit. Quadratic equation is this right here. X equals negative B plus or minus the square root of B squared minus 4AC all over 2A. So we just plug in our A, Bs, and Cs into the quadratic and we solve. So X equals a long fraction all over 2 times A, so 2 times 1, negative B, so I have negative 1.2 times 10 to the negative second, plus or minus the square root of negative, actually not negative, but B squared, so 1.2 again, times 10 to the negative second, that's squared, minus 4 times A, which is 1, times C, which is negative 0 0.003. Okay, now let's simplify. 2 times 1 is just 2, so just get rid of that. And now I'm going to plug this all into the calculator at once. You try it on your own and see if we get the same answer. So I have 1.2 times 10 to the negative second squared, minus 4 times a negative 0 0.003. And I get, if I just erase this, because we're just simplifying here, I get 0 0.012144. Let's take that square root. Large decimal here. If I can get rid of that. Maybe cut it off about here. I get 0 0.1101998. I think that's good enough. Okay, now there's two possible answer choices. Remember, we're solving for x. You can never have negative molarity. So I want to find the answer that will give me a positive value. I'm starting off with a negative. So a negative plus a value, that could go both ways depending on what the positive is, but a negative minus a number, that's going to be negative. We don't want that. So we have to keep the positive answer. So now I got negative 1.2 times 10 to the negative second plus 0 0.1101998. And I will just erase this. Let's just keep simplifying. I get 0 0.098. One nine nine eight. Whoop! We have to divide by two, and then we're done. We have x. Not done with the problem, but we just found out what x is. Isn't that grand? X equals zero point zero four nine zero. I don't know. Nine nine. I mean, I guess since we are not. Uh, at the correct answer yet, I'm just gonna hold it as this value, right? And this is molarity. Now remember the, the ion that was the same, it was the sulfate ion. So I only care about this. We now know that the sulfate ion is, and maybe I'll just bring this over here, the 0 0.04900999. Molarity. And I'm going to use that information to solve for my other equation. So pause the video if you need to, but I'm just going to erase the quadratic equation. We don't need it anymore. So goodbye. And now I'm bringing this equation up. And now I'm saying that BASO4 2 minus, that's already 0 0.049. 0999. We don't know what the barium is, so label it as, you got it, X.
Here's my equation already for KSP. I'm just going to get rid of this because we know the number. Let's just move this over here. BA was X, and this is the 0 0.0490999. So I get 2.3 times 10 to the negative eighth equals my two values x times 0 0.0490999. So for x, just divide by that number. What number you say? <laughs> 0 0.0490999 on both sides. 0.49. This gets canceled, and we're left with just x. So 2.3 times 10 to the negative 8 divided by that answer. I get, I guess, three sig figs. 4.68 times 10 to the negative 7th, and that's molarity. Okay. But now the question said, what's the molar solubility of BASO4? Well, even though... BASO4 is not in your K expression, there still is a molarity for it. But we're always going to have just one BASO4. So treat this answer as if you just had one X. The ratios match. So this X value is the molar solubility. So the answer is 4.68 times 10 to the negative seventh molarity of the BASO4. And that is your final answer. Woohoo! Okay. There you go, guys. What do you think? Thank you so much for reviewing the video. I hope this helps. Let me know in the comments. Subscribe to the channel if you want to help us out. We're almost at 20,000 subscribers. And thank you so much. It's all because of you guys. Thank you. Thank you. And let's keep learning. All right? I believe in you guys. Okay. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.